I don't know about y'all, but I I love the Olympics. I used to watch the Olympics with my my father, mm-hmm. and just watching all the games that you don't normally see on TV. You know, badminton, archery. You mm-hmm. know, all kind of weird stuff. And I always loved uh, how every country handled their opening ceremonies. Like everybody, everybody had like a really elaborate way to show their culture <laughs> and what they were about. This year, um, Paris, which I. I if, if I could have gone to an Olympics, I would have chosen Paris because it's just awesome. I, lo- it's, I love that city. They chose to express themselves a different way um, this year. Apparently, this is <laughs> I've never Paris. been phased by the Olympics. It's been wild. Me Opening either. ceremony, 2024 Olympics uh, started. Yeah. Um, mocking the Last Supper with a bunch of drag queens. They're trying to mock Christianity, obviously. Trying to mock the Last Supper. But, the but like, it's so low budget it's terrible <laughs> not only is this like obviously disrespectful sacrilegious like they shouldn't be doing this but th- they they did such a bad job at it wow and here's ap saying the last supper is mocked during the olympics opening ceremony now do islam since it is part of europe yeah we'll talk about that in a little bit i i uh, have a feeling they won't do this uh, yeah so here's a here's a video you guys can see what it looks like moving very, very courageous, intelligent. You know, this is, they're just trying to do a, a social commentary. Um, here's an interesting video because it actually shows there's a child there. Mm-mm. There's a child sitting at the table surrounded by queens. Mm. All right, so... Um, there was a lot there was more than just that scene there was a lot of scenes throughout the opening ceremonies that were like interesting interesting yeah. and it's and it's weird because i mean i've always seen it as like a family thing so no it'll be it'll be a weird <laughs> it's a weird time to push yeah. no agendas during that what do you think what do you think what, what is, is paris body? what is paris's culture like gay the Perry? city of love the city okay. of love, no, for love. What they call it gay perry <laughs> Take but that's Perry. not what that means. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the original yeah, happy yeah. definition Joy. for gay. I've yeah. seen this. Me and my mom were FaceTiming, and she was like, the Olympics is on. My mom is so excited about this stuff. So I was like, I got the little 20 minutes for free on YouTube, and I saw literally <laughs> everything that we're talking about right now. Mm-hmm. I asked my mom, I said, is that the Last Supper? She said, no, it's just a DJ booth. I said, <laughs> that looked like the Last Supper. And you, you did mention that there was more. They had a scene where there's three people that were running, and they go into a room. Yeah, that's the to, one I'm talking about. They about to have a, a threesome. Three, a threesome. Wow. And they closed the door. I said, Mom, if I was five years old, and, and I was like, Mom, what's this yeah she was like oh they about to go read yeah like yeah. what is yeah. this why is this bad. a thing that's wild i think for one that's not a real depiction of jesus anyway yeah. um yes yeah, it's, it's uh, but they think it is so that's what makes it disrespectful mm-hmm. um yeah when well, you get a whole bunch of drag queens and try to emulate something that's supposed to be holy and sacred i think it's just the spirit of the antichrist <laughs> you yeah, know what i'm yeah. saying this the world largest stage like this the biggest thing going on biggest, right now yeah. and you use this as an opportunity to push a, a homosexual agenda using something that's supposed to be sacred to believers most believers don't know they don't dig, even dig deep enough to know if this is real or not they just say this represents jesus so you're pretty much spitting in people's face who believe in Christ with mm. a bunch of drag queens? I think it's just blasphemous and disrespectful. They'll say it's just art. That's what they'll well, say. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm confused. First of all, I do not like the Olympics. Never been interested in it, ever, <laughs> ever, ever. Um, but what is the what is what is the purpose here of the opening scene? Why do they have it? What opening is, ceremony? Yeah. What is, yeah. Every every country does it. It's just a way to show your culture. Yeah. You put it on a big show for the whole world. The whole world is watching. So this so Paris is like your. That they were gonna do, yeah. Whoever does, des- whoever designed this show, it's probably a person that yeah. designed the show for them. He put this in there. Are okay, you Perry. asking what's the purpose of the opening ceremony in general, or for this? Uh, for this, yeah. yeah because I this. have the same question. What yeah. was the purpose of? Was this there like speaking one? points? Yeah, the theme was just. It was, it was, it was always your culture, whatever yeah, your culture yeah, is of that country. Like one year uh, when it was Tokyo, Tokyo had like the big drums. They yeah. had they, stuff they, that your yeah, country has yeah. created in yeah. the world. Yeah. yeah. So it's well, like an open ceremony. That makes sense. So they have the guy with the torch. Yeah. Question oh, When we did the Olympics here in 96, anybody remember what our opening ceremony was like? No. Just stuff, man. I don't okay. know. <laughs> All right. I'm just asking because I mean, like I said, I've never been interested. So. so you're saying that the opening ceremony for the United States in Paris is to show the Last Supper with a bunch of drag queens. Really? 
That's what we doing. That's what they doing. That's what they doing. That's what we doing. Now wait, who who painted that? Was that Leonardo da Vinci that painted uh, the Last Supper? I think so. so. Yeah. Great is is he French? Like is there is there some connection? Uh, everything they did was because it was related yeah, back to France in some sort yeah. of way. Yeah, he's got So I don't know. Somebody looked that up for me while we're talking. I, I'm assuming that may be why they did it. But they're also making a statement. They made it throughout the throughout the um, whole ceremony. So a, Free love, just, yeah, you know, love, love whoever you want. That was clearly a message that they were communicating. Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. And he has something to do with France. But okay, where is he from? I still, even if they had done it where they were depicting the the true image of the of the painting, I still would have been like, why? Like I don't. If there's no talking points around it, what are you just getting so us to talk about it that. on our shows today? And oh, okay. I mean, it's they're, they're getting what they want right he now. He was from Italy. Mm. Italy, interesting. Yeah. I wonder if the painting was done in France or something. I don't know, yeah. but they, I assume there's some connection. But all it is is again, they do it because they know we're gonna get mad. <laughs> they love to see us mad. Think about think about um the the point of view they may be coming from. A lot of a lot of people grew up in the church. France is a pretty Christian country, right? And if you were told all your life that this was wrong, this is wrong, and now you finally feel free, you're gonna try and stick it to the people who told you it was wrong. Yeah. That's what mm -hmm. th this is the spirit well, that this is coming. I with. think a lot of people here is just like I think, I think a lot of Christians here or even worldwide is like we're just tired. We're tired of the mockery. We're tired of it. Y'all yeah. don't do this to no other religion. LGBT. Y'all don't do this to no other religion. Y'all just stick it to. Christians and I think like yeah. like Christians was trending number one worldwide yeah. and and almost every Christian was like why don't they do this to Islam why they don't do this to this know why. Yeah. Yeah. They know why. <laughs> yeah. but I think going back to what you said like like it's almost payback you know for so many years y'all held us down held us down but I was and I was just saying like I don't know it's a lot of other religions that are anti homosexual homosexuality is a sin so it's like interesting somebody in the, somebody in the queue said they live in France Oh wow! Target a big dog. They said, unfortunately, there um, here our country have the right to blaspheme and criticize Christians and Muslims, and they are considered a secular country. Mm. Mm. Wow. wow, interesting. Well, thank you for watching from France. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Like it. two hours, like hours away. <laughs>